I see. All right. Uh, I wanted to make a little video about this van and post it to the world for in they could see what gives, as they say. That's my finger. I'll just hold it from over here. Anyway, uh, this van has 678,600 miles on it or something. I could do the math, but does it really matter? And I wanted to make a quick documentation while I have it up in the air about rust underneath and what to look for in a used van as these are coming up on seven model years old. Um, this van is on its second engine, but original transmission. A lot of parts change over the time. The first engine in this van lasted to 560,000 miles. It's actually sitting on that stand over there. And I replaced it not because it was not running or bad, um, but it was just the compression was starting to get low, it was starting to get weak, and it just wasn't going to. And also it came at the beginning of the Rona where I had time and uh, even a little bit of money to do so. So I just, as a preventative maintenance thing, I changed the engine. 545, 560, I have it written down somewhere. But anyway, um, these vans are incredibly durable. I'm going to move kind of quick. I'm going to show you the underhood and then I'm going to show you the underneath. Uh, what we're talking about in terms of rust and wear and non-mechanical things about the van. As you can see, this has had many a rock chip, but no rust. If you look underneath the cowl area, which is that that I'm pointing to, that seals the this plastic strip to the windshield, that never works. Once you change the windshield the first time, so I use Gorilla Tape, which is impervious to water, and it looks like the Gorilla Tape needs change at this point. That is not imperative, but it does keep water out of the engine compartment. Um, but the general gist of it, as you can see, it's, it looks like a well-used engine because it is a well-used engine. All right, let us move on. This is the important stuff. Here's something to look for in any ProMaster you find. And of course, with this many miles, you're missing a thing here, and this is starting to flake out. A uh, few other things. But this is incredibly common and happens very early on in everybody's ownership you see the every time you get out you slide your foot and actually a lot of cars are like this but it has not rusted i mean that is bare metal not rusted this piece here is probably being abraded by the door because you don't put your foot there but this area right here every time you get out slide slide and woe betide you if you get out with the parking brake on as you will change your gender when that happens so that's the only thing on the external body really that that gives issue with these vans um you'll see that we've gacked the bumper cover many times loading in and out of it and you'll see a little bit of seepage on the hinges that's actually more due to lubricating them which i don't do as religiously as i should you will have burned out multiple uh rear running lights you should buy those as a group you can actually see i don't know if you can see but see the top of that one it start, it's melting because the heat goes up and they misshapen and then water gets in and that's just how they do. Uh, but other than that, this one, the door, the automatic door latch broke almost instantly and where they all break is right here. Can you see the pattern of what happens? This is spring loaded, it doesn't quite work. Same story on the other side, I've had a lot of issues with that. Uh, if you're buying a used van, you should definitely check that. Once it breaks, just the lock doesn't work is the only problem. But the seal still works pretty good and so on. But here's what you want to see. Here's what you came for. Because I know that you, uh, you know, made a special date to watch this video. This is the important part under here. God, I'm fat. When did that happen? Ugh. All right. Hopefully, we have enough light to make this worth doing. There goes my hat. Um, yeah, that's helpful. Okay. You will see that as far as the body goes, not a damn speck of rust on the thing. They really don't suffer from rust. Now I should point out this van was made in October of 2013. I actually bought it used in the August of 2015 uh, with 88,000 miles on it. A, a company used it to haul glass and they had a problem with it and they were just afraid of it. So I got it cheap in 2015. Because people don't, you know, people are more timid than I am in terms of repairs. But the important point to note, I mean, that there is not a speck of rust. This, by the way, if I can get out on that, this is a little cover that goes under the, it's directly under the gas filler neck. And we hit something and this came off. So I, look at the cleverness of the MacGyver to 
hose clamp it back on. All it does is protect the fuel filler neck a little bit. By the way, 600 and what I say, 76, 78, never touch the fuel pump, never touch the master cylinder, never touch the power brake booster, never touch the power steering pump, never touch the power steering rack, never touch the water pump, never touch the, a belt, never touch the b -b -b fuel pump, very important. There is no fuel filter that needs changed. Never, original exhaust. Um, this exhaust on this thing is actually cracked and I have to pass that, patch that. But as far as the mufflers and the resonators and all that happy, come on, focus. All that happy crap goes. Even the exhaust is holding up quite well. Who knows why? But uh, if you can see, even on the rear suspension back here, not a damn speck of rust. This piece here, that piece is the diesel heater air fresh air intake so there's that's uh, aftermarket don't worry about that as they say if you can see from this angle i mean it is fine and even the running gear hardware which is what's really counts the bolts that are exposed by the way i should say this van lived its first year in pennsylvania and the rest of it in ohio i don't wash it i don't chassis coat it i don't do anything um, but all the mechanical bits you can see the control that's a seven hundred thousand mile control arm it's fine as are the bolts that hold the control arm on. So <clears throat> I have a theory about why this should be. If you can see that orange is my motorhome from 1966, which also hasn't rusted. And my theory is that this, the reason this vehicle doesn't rust is two is, well, it's multifold, but one is that they're, they will use the word galvanized from the factory. That is not accurate. I don't think they are what's called e-coated, which is a galvanic process. But it, it, the point is that they're plated with something. Um, the, these look like, if you look at this, it has a, a, a polyurea type finish on it, but I couldn't say that that's what that is. Um, like this rock guard here, but that crap's been around for years. Um, I think the other combination reason that they don't rust even in the Midwest where I live, Ohio, is that, um, they sit a bit higher up on the road. And when we went from rock salt to brine, the road height... I don't know, it seems to make a difference. It must, because, I mean, nothing. Uh, there are, you'll find bits and pieces that are rusted, but nowhere near, nowhere even close to what it should be. I have, here, lying right next to it, here on the beautiful ground. This is what a Plymouth looks like from 1965 that's lived its life, mostly in Florida, but some in Pennsylvania. Look at those meats, baby, yeah. All right, I will spare you the camera work of me trying to attain a standing position. Yeah, maybe I won't. If I have to suffer, you should suffer. Lego vault. All right. Hats back on. The world is right. Let's finish up this stupid video. You'll also want to examine the interior. Now, this van has had four or five different drivers, myself included, and as a industrial device that has thousands of hours of use on it, is surprisingly unworn. I mean, if I showed you this interior, you'd say, man, these hillbillies are slobs. But you wouldn't say that this seat has 700,000 miles of wear on it. So the interiors are actually pretty good. Of course, of course, plenty of things are gonna break over your ownership experience. But generally speaking, the takeaway from this vehicle and the two others like it that I have is that you really don't need to worry about rust in the same way you did in the past. You, you will get ungodly sick of driving it before you get to the point where rust is an issue, unlike a Chevy van of the past or a Ford or Dodge van or Plymouth Velare that everybody, you know, who doesn't like the Velare? Um, so as far as rust and corrosion, don't even worry about it. As far as durability, change the oil. Address the Pentastar tick when it happens every 100 to 120,000 miles, if it happens ever. Rinse and repeat. That's really all you need to do. I can tell you many other tricks that I've learned over my seven years of ownership of these three vans. I guess we're at 1.7, 1.8 million. I don't know. I'd have to figure it out. But I'm all tuckered out from lying on the ground. Uh, and what else is the takeaway? Oh, um... Because the engines are so computer managed, although not inordinately so, they don't ever run rough. It's not like an old car. Because I know you're an old man watching this and want to know. Or maybe you're a, 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 an old woman or a full timer. But they don't. 
They don't run rough. They don't need tuned. I run the plugs to failure. I have hundreds of thousand miles, thousands of miles on plugs, no problem. I generally run these vans until they present a symptom because I'm cheap. And they never suffer diminished mileage. The air filters go hundreds of thousands of miles because they're gigantic and because they just don't get dirty. Um, the engine will compensate for them if they do, as it would for a bad injector or a bad coil or any of this kind of thing. Coils don't go. You can see the Gorilla tape. I forget why I did that. Uh, maybe just to make it look nicer. You can, this one, you can see that f the, the little panel fell off. So I, you know, Gorilla tape. What's not to like? I see they're shooting in my neighborhood as usual. All right, well, we've learned a lot and uh, <clears throat> enjoy yourselves.